Confessions of a Street Preacher. Uh, hi, my name is Tracy, and I am a street preacher, or what I like to call a street evangelist. And I've been street preaching or street witnessing or evangelizing on the streets for seven years now. Um, I've been saved for about 17 years. Um, I didn't wake up one day and, and decide I wanted to, to be a street evangelist or uh, it just uh, through uh, walking with the Lord and working in ministry it just kind of transformed into street evangelism. Um, you know 17 years ago when I gave my life to the Lord I didn't it wasn't that I went to church and and heard a sermon and, and got saved. I uh, my family uh, I would say were would be considered agnostic. I wasn't raised in church I wasn't there wasn't much talk in our family about God um, I had never heard the salvation message and so I uh, you know 17 years ago when I gave my life to the Lord I feel like I kind of just stumbled in to Christianity <laughs> I stumbled in to God I stumbled into getting saved um, my life uh, you know you reap what you sow um, and you sow into darkness, you reap that in a life. And I can I can tell you after reading the word, I can see that that is true in my life. I was, uh, uh, you know, the wages of sin is death. And, and there were a lot of things that were going on in my life at that time. Uh, death of a marriage, um, a death of the business. Uh, my, you know, kids were miserable and unhappy and I was miserable and unhappy and you know, when life got to be such, uh, it just seemed like things were just closing in on me, uh, and I didn't think things could get any worse. I, uh, one night on my bedroom floor, I just cried out to God in desperation and uh, asking Him if you're there, if you're real, to show me, to change me. I didn't want to be that person uh, anymore. I did not want to do the things that I was doing, and I knew I was helpless to change myself. And um, God, for the first time, uh, spoke to me, and He spoke peace, and um, and He gave me hope. And I didn't have hope before, you know, uh, and I didn't have peace. But from that moment on my bedroom floor, crying out to God, He spoke peace in my life, and He He radically, He radically changed my life, and. It not only changed my life, but changed my children's lives. And, uh, you know, being a mother of three and now a grandmother of ten, I can tell you that God has done some work in my children and some work in me. And, you know, I look back and I don't even know who that person was. It's it's like those things didn't even happen to me. Um, it was like I saw it in a movie. And because, you know, I've been forgiven much, I love much, and I want people to have the hope that I have in Christ. And I know that not everybody is going gonna, is gonna to go to church. Not everybody's going to go to church and hear that salvation message and, and make that altar call. They, you know, they may be like I was and need somebody to reach out to, to meet them where they're at on the streets and tell them the love of Christ. And, um... Uh, uh, you're not going to find an atheist. You're generally not going to find an atheist in church or or an agnostic or uh, the prodigal son. I mean, you have to go out and you got to meet them where they are. And um, uh, I, I can't imagine, um, I can't imagine doing anything else now. You know, I've, I've done ministry in other places and other things and that are important. But I think uh, more important in the day that we're living in that um, the country being in a state in the direction that it is is because the churches have confined evangelism in just the four walls of the church. The church has got to get out and start really being church to the community and reaching out to people and meeting them where they are. And uh, the biggest thing that I've had to overcome to be an evangelist and almost every time we do something different and somewhere we haven't been or doing a different kind of outreach uh, it's fear it's it's a, a fear of rejection a fear of the unknown um, 
but and I, I there's nothing wrong with with fearing it's just not acting in the fear i uh the lord i can do all things through christ who strengthens me and i can do what god has called me to do and and speak to the lost and and tell them the love of christ in truth and in word and in deed and i encourage you um to get out of the pew and get off the pulpit and get into the street um uh, our country is dying and they need you.